Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a nice laptop to repair. It's a Lenovo i3 agent Lenovo IdeaPad S145. Now the customer is saying, back life years. I mean, this laptop is not a challenge from the, you know, from the beginning. I mean, the customer already told me it's like a back life years. Let's see the customer email. So the customer is saying, screen was broken. I have replaced the screen, but the fuse is blown. I expect I shorted the fuse. And he also sent me a link with the same laptop with the same issue. I mean, it feels bad. I mean, even if I fix it, I don't have that feeling, actually, you know, I earn a pizza. You know what? You know what? We should cause a fault and fix that fault, apart from this fault, which the customer told uh, to tell us about it. Huh? What do you think? And then it can feel like a challenge. Okay, let's check the laptop. Of course, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. So the laptop, it is coming on, check there. But the caps lock, the caps lock is not working, you see? I mean, in order for the back life used to be burned, the caps lock has to be working, and it's not working. Huh? Oh, lol. Now the caps lock is working. Oh, it, oh, and we have the Windows startup sound. It is the fuse. Okay, let's power off the laptop. Yeah, it feels bad, man. Uh, let me take out the screws quickly. I never seen something like that. So here is a, a red sticker from Microsoft. So not sure what that means. Never seen that kind of sticker from uh, from Microsoft. Okay, so what happened? Why that fuse get got burned? Uh, Either the customer replaces the screen with the battery connected inside or with the charger plugged in. Usually they, they, they unplug the charger. People actually, you know, they replace the screen, they unplug the charger, but sometimes they don't unplug the battery. And let's say you don't end up with a burn chipset. But you can burn, you can end up with a burn uh, backlight fuse. Yeah. Or the screen is a replacement, so the screen is taking more power compared with the, which, which is usually what is happening. It's taking more power compared with the original one, and then the backlight fuse, it will blow up. Not because something is faulty, just because, you know, uh, the screen is taking more power than usual. So, the laptop, it's open. I mean, check there. We have the screen connector. Yeah, this is a nice motherboard. Oh, check check here, yeah? So the customer actually... Oh, I got it. I got it. I can't believe. The board has a seal. I can't believe, actually, the customer put a sticker to the, to the fuse. Yeah, there is the fuse. Yeah. Let's have a look under the microscope. So check here. This is the fuse. And the customer put the arrow here, you know, for me in order to see the fuse. I mean, most of the time I have such of, you know, nice uh, customers. And no, this is not a computer business. No, no. Let's check with the multimeter. So with the multimeter, we have to check the voltage before the fuse, seven volts, and after the fuse, Zero volts. I mean, I, I don't understand why the customer didn't didn't solder the fuse. Uh, here is the here is ground. I mean, clearly you can see he checked it. He proper checked this. Uh, he proper checked this uh, this laptop, and here we have a resistor, seven volts, seven volts. Why seven volts? Because it's the battery voltage. Uh, I mean, you know what? You know what? All what this customer need, it's a solder iron. That's all. Solder iron, you know, you get a piece of wire. You don't even need wire. Look, we can do it without the wire. And you will ask, sorry, yeah, but this is a fuse. It doesn't matter. This is a fuse also. You can see? 
you have a resistor here. So let's say you burn the, you, you, let's say you solder the fuse, yeah? We solder. You have the resistor. Let's imagine you don't have that resistor. You have you, it's just a truck. You don't have the resistor. Then you have a protection instead of the battery. So if you short the battery, the battery has protection. It will go off. The charger has protection. If you short the charger, the voltage goes off. Nothing wrong happen. So you have so many protections. Now, just to be sure, yeah, this is a, like an extra layer of protection. Let's say, okay, sorry, but I don't trust the protections. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. What we can do, you take the power supply and you set up basically the same voltage, yeah, like 7 volts. And the current we are setting up, about what? About, yeah, like 500 milliamps, something like that. Good. And now you can check yourself, yeah? Because this, uh, you, you separate the backlight, the power supply with actually the laptop, what the laptop is doing. So we are coming with ground, and we are coming with the plus exactly after the fuse, yeah? Let's do it. And if, if everything is fine, yeah, let's say maybe maybe you have a short on the ribbon cable, maybe the screen is shorted. We don't know. Uh, check that, check that. You can see the writing, but no backlight. So I'm going to come with the probe exactly after the fuse here. We do have backlight. No, we don't have backlight. No, no backlight. That's crazy. I don't have ground. Yeah, we have backlight. Check that. Yeah. So if you are coming with a power supply, uh, you can see we have backlight. It's no ground here. Well, it is on the hinge. But not on the hole where I plug the multimeter. Okay. So that's how that's how you can do it, and this is safe. I mean, on this way you can figure it out if it's something wrong or not. And you can see here, it's nothing wrong. It's taking 110 milliamps, all good. Now we know for sure. We know for sure if we are soldering the fuse, nothing can go wrong. Okay, fantastic. Let me unplug the battery. So we unplug the battery. Let me clean a little bit the board. Cleaning the board. Perfect. Now let me grab a little wire. I mean, the current is very low. You really want like a very tiny wire. Okay, so where we are soldering the fuse? Huh? Wire is a fuse. Okay, so we are soldering the fuse exactly where is this fuse? Like that? No, really. If you, if you replace with a wire, try to let the wire longer. Because a longer wire means a higher resistance, means the wire it will blow up uh, with low current. No, with, with low current compared if the wire it will be short. Yeah, something like that. So I'm going to use some rosin here. Perfect. And I will solder the wire from here. Here, you will need some solder here. Perfect. So what do we think about our fuse? Huh? What do we think about it? Yeah, this is a proper nice fuse. I could let the wire longer or I can use a resistor. You know what? I usually prefer, like if you ask me what I prefer, like the original fuse, a wire, or a resistor. And I always prefer the resistor. Yeah. The resistor, a resistor is kind of a, like a slow fuse. You do a mistake, can be forgiveful. Yeah. A fuse is not like for you know, are are slow fuses. You know, the fuses that actually they have like a spring inside. That's that's a slow fuse. But a resistor is kind of a slow fuse, so I prefer a resistor. Okay, so we solder the wire. And now if we're plugging the battery. Uh, no, we didn't res reset the BIOS because the BIOS battery is separate. Pressing the power button. We have picture. Huh? What do you think about that? We have picture. 
Yeah, so it's working fine. No, you see, you see that kind of lines because of the refresh rate of the camera compared with the screen. Uh, you can say, sorry, but yeah, you checked like 7 volts, but what about with 19 volts? And that's a good question. Uh, the backlight will still, it will still be working with 19 volts. So with the ground here and the plus at the charging port, hopefully you can see here. And check that, the laptop is taking like 1.2 amps and the backlight is still fine, you can see. It's not charging, probably the battery is fully charged, but we do have the charging light, I can see the orange light, but the current is too low. The battery is not fully charged. That's interesting. Uh, like one amp, 1.6, one amp. 1.6 is fine, but one amp is kind of low. Let me shut down the laptop and check one more time the charging. So the laptop is off, minus plus, and it's taking only 130 mi oh, okay, it's taking 800, 800 milliamps. Yeah, that mean this, proce this uh, processor or CPU has a very low power. You remember we had like one amp, that means the, the whole board is taking like 200 milliamps. Yeah, all good. So everything is working fine. And that's how you fix a backlight fuse. And now you'll say, yes, yeah, sorry, but now it's no fuse there. I mean, it is a fuse, but it's not like the genuine fuse. That's mean if I short one more time the connector, because you, the, the customer short that connector with the ground, yeah? If you will short, let's say, the backlight power rail with any the data track, uh, the CPU will be, will be dead. So he short with ground. So if I will short now the connector with ground, what will happen? And that's a very good question, but I will say nothing bad. So you can have the wire blow up, you can have the resistor blow up, or actually you cannot have blow up anything, you have the batteries getting disconnected. And the only way to reconnect it, because it has a protection I guess, against the short circuit, to reconnect the battery, you just plug the charger, that's all. Can we test it? Yeah, we can. We can prove this, but this is kind of the, you know, is the customer left off. I mean, yeah, we can do it, but it will not be fair. We can do that on, uh, on, um, on a different job. Okay, so I'm happy I, uh, I helped the customer. Um, I checked, uh, sometimes I feel bad, but it is what it is. Uh, I did charge too much for this job, so I'm going to tell the customer a lower price just because, you know, he gave me the diagnostic, he, you know, told, he told me exactly where is the, where is the fuse and, you know, kind of like feel bad. Uh, you know, in life you have to make the things fair. Yeah, yeah. It was a easy job. Let's, let's, uh, let's admit it. Okay, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.